Hey, it's Abhinandan Kansali. I'm from a state in India uh, called Uttarakhand, from where uh, meditation and yoga has been like uh, literally evolved. So I'm from that state. It's uh, basically in the Himalayas itself. So uh, I'm doing MBA right now as per business. And uh, this is my third semester. This uh, like fall is uh, right now I'm in my third semester and I have a two years course in total. I have come to Canada to have an in-person experience because I have invested such a, li a huge amount, right? So not having this uh, in-person exposure has given me kind of a, uh, like it is not as much as what I expected, but now this is how the things are and it's a new normal. Everybody is facing a lot worse. Uh, so like uh, before coming, I had these plans of, you know, exploring different places uh, near Canada and even Canada itself. So uh, thinking about Banff, which is kind of a famous place in India too, people visit from India uh, like to Banff, so to your travel and those uh, like whole areas and especially in the case like Calgary, Edmonton, my sister lives in Calgary, I am not able to visit even her. So everything was closed initially, now it's open but still somewhere in your mind you know, maybe if you are going out you may contact, or you may get infected to Corona. So. And you have to contribute by sitting home to the society. Again, I'll say that, right? Because some people are not very uh, good in immune. So you have to make sure that you are not getting uh, out and traveling. Uh, like, but you have to be responsible. So that was one of the reasons why we are not able to explore the city. Like, I, it has been, I think, 10 months, but I haven't explored much in Winnipeg. I'm just sitting home and going to the place where I work to the studies I do, that's it. People say there's a very human rights uh, museum where one should visit, but I have never been to that because of earlier it was closed, now it's open, but very much restrictions and you have to be conscious about like, you have to see whether like there are cases increasing. So you have to just avoid going in such places where people frequently visit because the chances increases. So like, it's a lot of things which uh, makes me feel of not going to such places because sometimes it's difficult and if I will get sick it'll be difficult it will directly impact my studies so I have to make sure that I'm being staying like maximum time at home reason but it was somewhere in my mind that I have to do something where it benefits me and the society itself and I wanted to work as a customer service where I can have conversations with people and you know Though I know there is a corona out there, but still I'm like, okay, this is the other problem which I may face, such as depression and being alone or left out. So I thought it's better to join somewhere where I can, you know, know how people act, behave, talk and, and like learn from people, basically. Every day I like almost, I have conversations with my mom every day. Mm -hmm. She tells me how the things are going with the corona and stuff. And right now in India, in between, like, it was kind of worse, but now it's kind of okay. So uh, I'm going back to, like, uh, since my course was of two years, in total six semesters, so I'm going back to India for a, one semester only, then I'll be back. Uh, right now, I'm making myself exposed by working in a superstore to, you know, a, a lot of people. Somewhere I'm risking it. The only advice I'll give to the people, uh, and in, especially international students, that just try not to be secluded. Just try to meet people. Just try to make sure that you are on the boundaries, like not more than 10 people or, you know, the gathering is not much, but it is important to meet people.